Following next in the program today is a panel discussion about sustainable finance, moderated by Dr. Plan and Rousseau with special guests on the Webit main stage. We, uh, we move next with, uh, with a few special guests, but before all, I would like to introduce here at that stage um, the Bulgarian uh, finance minister and uh, deputy prime minister for, um, um, for uh, European funds, Mr. Asen Vasilev. Welcome. Welcome to the Webit stage, uh, Minister. I, uh, it's an it's a interesting coincidence, I believe, that uh, it's been 14th of December when we first had the pleasure and opportunity to have a, a chat uh, publicly in front of uh, uh, our audience. Uh, back then it was our local format as part of the Global Webit Impact Week, uh, the Power Summit. And this was your first day in the office. Yes, it was. And it was so much enthusiasm by everyone, uh, full, full hall, and uh, you made some predictions for where Bulgaria is going to be in um, as part of the EU, obviously, and EU and the global economy we're all discussing. Where is it going to be um, in the next three to four or five years? And these uh, predictions, uh, I would say, were very bold, but also um, uh, gave us a lot of uh, things to think and discuss. Today, uh, I believe, is your first day when you're in resignation. Uh, yes, it is. Six months later. Six months later. And, uh, but I'm grateful that you are here on that very stage. And I would like to, to have your... Because here we are all entrepreneurs, including you. And being entrepreneurs comes with um, um, fearless um, attitude towards life. Because if, you're, if, if you have fear, you don't make anything, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, it, it doesn't come with restlessness, but fearness. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that uh, um, this particular process of being where you are and doing what you've done have taught you lessons as we all learn lessons from successful or unsuccessful endeavors. Mm -hmm. How would you identify these six months from your personal perspective? Uh, steep learning curve. A lot of unexpected challenges, and um, I think quite a lot of the things that we talked about in December actually started happening. Uh, whether they'll continue, I think they will, uh, because uh, I think they're good for the country as a whole, for the economy, for the startup ecosystem here, uh, and they're actually good for Europe, and Europe realizes it. Um, let me give you maybe a, a couple of examples. Um, when we were talking uh, last time, we talked about Bulgaria playing an active role in the European Union, changing regulation, changing where Europe is going, um, finding ways to innovate maybe a little bit ahead of where Europe is. Um, we've seen some movements there um, around fintech, which are not visible yet. Um, but, for example, things that are visible, um, if we look at the war in Ukraine, uh, we led a lot of uh, processes in Europe there. Uh, we didn't just follow. Uh, the common purchasing process is a Bulgarian brainchild, so to speak. Mm. Um, and that's gas. Now there's going to be a common policy around grain, which is critical for Europe to actually face the incoming crisis and make sure um, we don't see a lot higher inflation and that we actually have a proper response uh, to what's happening, to the weaponization of gas uh, deliveries, for example. Um, we've seen um, very 
uh, active uh, Bulgarian role uh, around uh, shaping some of the uh, key um, European uh, legislation uh, around uh, global taxation and around the fact that uh, we need to reduce substantially the, the burden on companies, uh, regulatory burden on companies. Um, we are pushing forward with Commissioner McGuinness on the uh, regulation of um, cryptocurrencies and how that should be done properly. Uh, we pushed a lot in terms of uh, how we recognize Ukrainian citizens that came to the European Union, give them access to banking, give them access to social services, give them access to education. Very, very important. Uh, all of yeah. that happened in Bulgaria first, and actually they asked us um, in the last uh, ECOFIN, we had a, a session where uh, Ivailo, who is my deputy in the ministry, and was in charge of that to, to let the other European countries uh, share our experience and, and let them learn from what we did. Uh, and how we did it. Um, so I, I think what we are seeing is Bulgaria is being heard in the European Union. We have things to contribute. Um, and we help shape a um, much more, let's say, flexible and practical approach to things and less bureaucratic. Uh, I think that will continue. Uh, it's a question of having the right people in the room and, and having a point of view. Uh, and I think it was somewhat surprising and quite refreshing for our European partners because we've been silent for so many years to finally have a, a voice in the room. Thank you. I, I would like to go deeper into one particular topic which uh, uh, connects with uh, um, the cryptocurrencies and the opportunity to really have some um, legal and uh, clear approach. Uh, um, uh, but. We are now part of um, another panel, and which, if, you, if you allow me, I would like to bring more people from the ecosystem on the stage. Sure. So that we can discuss sustainable finance. Obviously, when you accepted this invitation, um, it was uh, prior to what we've seen uh, during the past few weeks, and uh, thus uh, the key was not uh, to reflect on what you've done, because we, we all expected you'll be having a um, roadmap of uh, the next many years to come. Mm -hmm. But now this change, and that's why I've started with this particular topic. And again, I'm very grateful for being with this ecosystem, because that's where you come from. Mm -hmm. And it's great always to be back with, with it, yeah. because uh, we are those that create the value. We are those that, uh, that create the future, and uh, definitely I would like to invite more people of that caliber, starting with, uh, with, with a lady representing um, uh, MasterCard for, um, for the region, Bulgaria um, and uh, North Macedonia, Albania and Kosovo, uh, Ms. Vanya Manova. Vanya, please join us.